The next bit of footage that you're going to see is Dub Revolution performing during St. Paul's Carnival in Bristol at the Magpie. Now, those are three institutions that all deserve at least a brief description and explanation. Dub Revolution is a crew that's mainly coordinated by Enchant, aka Dub Mark. Um, its main form of creative expression has been podcasts. Dub Mark gets sent lots of dub tracks from all over the world. He makes an hour long mix of these dub tunes and then he convinces various musicians, myself, the Synchromistics included, but also Gale Force on sax and Helen on flute and various mainly Bristolian musicians to perform, to play their music, basically to jam along to the entire podcast. So you get dub songs from all over the world with anything from accordion to flute to lyrics over the whole mix. So it's yeah, dubbed with live music for an hour and it goes all over the world and you can get it for free is dope. So um, Google Dub Revolution. Um, so they were performing at the Magpie during Bristol St. Paul Carnival. St. Paul's Carnival, a yearly event that is basically a street fest, street party, has its roots in carnival culture so you know what to expect, sound systems and costumes. And um, yeah, the Magpie. Where do I begin? The Magpie is one of Bristol's most famous squats, if not, yeah, maybe of recent years, it's most fav famous. The, uh, the Magpie, famous for a few things, some, one of which is its legendary parties. Um, I'm, I am at liberty to say who was squatting the building, but I'm not going to. I can say who was vaguely involved in events there. Um, 12 Volt Joe, without which probably safe to say most of the parties wouldn't have happened. Um, DAV, the direct action volunteer, safe to say a lot of things involved at the Magpie simply wouldn't have happened without his tenacity and his um, drive. Um, Craig Body English Reynolds helped the, um, was the main force behind the healing sessions happening. For over six months there was a weekly healing session in a squat. We had Indian head massage as a regular, we had Reiki as a regular, one day a guy came in and offered his services as an acupuncturist, so I re re received acupuncture in a squat in Bristol. So um, yeah, a lot of amazing things happened in the Magpie. It's most internationally famous for raising money for the Dragon Fest, which is a festival in Spain which nearly didn't happen, I'm not sure which year, maybe 2007, maybe 2008, um, but it nearly didn't happen due to funding and one of its large funders apparently was a party at the Magpie. I wasn't present for that party so I don't know the details because I believe I was in Tasmania living in the rainforest with a bunch of nutters. Love you guys. Peace.